Hello there everyone and welcome back to how to make a mod in T Mod Loader. In this episode I'm going to be covering how to create a ranged weapon along with giving it its own ammo type. So I have three graphics already. I have tutorial ammo, uh, tutorial gun and then the tutorial ammo projectile. So we're going to start with the ammo first as it's pretty simple to create. So we're going to create a new class and I'm going to call it Tutorial Ammo. I'm going to get rid of these using and put in the using terraria.id, using terraria.modloader, using terraria.gamecontent.creative and then we're going to, going to add using tutorialmod.content.projectiles.weapons as we're going to have the ammo projectile in that directory. So let's turn this to a mod item. Override set static defaults. Now we do the set defaults. Item.width and height will be 8. Oops. Let's do it again. Item dot damage equals twelve. Item dot damage type equals damage class dot ranged. Item dot knockback we're gonna set to one point two five. We're going to want this to stack, so we're going to use max stack is equal to 999. We also want to make sure this is a consumable item. So that way, when it does get used up, it's used properly. We're going to set its ammo type to ammo ID dot bullet. So that will add that to the bullet ammo type. Then we're going to do item dot shoot equals mod content dot projectile type, and it's going to be tutorial ammo projectile. And that's what this namespace is going to lead to. So let's create that now. So in our projectiles weapons folder, I'm going to create a new class. Call it tutorial ammo projectile. As you can see, that is now gone green. Just need to turn this into a mod projectile first. And that will fix that error. So for the projectile, we need to set up a few things. Uh, let's get rid of the other using stuff. Put using Terraria and using Terraria.id. I believe those are the only ones we need. Uh, no, we don't. We also need using terraria.audio and using microsoft.xna.framework. I'm going to override set static defaults. In this, we're going to do projectile id.sets.trail cache length of projectile.type. And we're going to set that to 5. Then for trailing mode of projectile.type, we're going to set this to 0. So this makes it so the graphic for the ammo uh, looks better. It will have a trailing effect for the sprite, assuming this has worked properly but sometimes it's hard to tell because of the speed the ammo is being fired at. So now we're going to do the set defaults. We can do projectile.width is 8, projectile.height is also 8, projectile.ai style is equal to 1, projectile.friendly we set to true, projectile.hostile set false we're gonna have this 
penetrate a maximum of five times. This will last for uh, 10 seconds. We want to make sure this projectile is ignored by water as well as make sure it collides with tiles. We want this to run uh, twice per tick. Then AI type is equal to projectile ID dot bullet. So we're going to be using the bullet uh, AI code for this, but we're going to be modifying what happens when it collides on the tire. We're going to make the bullets bounce off walls. So we override the on tile collide. So let me just scroll down. And we're going to be returning false. So first of all, we need to decrease the penetrate count. So projectile dot penetrate minus minus. Then we're going to check if that is less than or equal to zero. And if it is, we kill the projectile and we return false. Now we need to handle some collision. So we do collision dot hit tiles, projectile dot position, projectile dot velocity, projectile dot width, and projectile dot height. And because we've hit a tile, we're going to make the sound engine play a sound. And we're going to do the uh, tink sound from when you mine. And we're going to make that play at projectile position. Now we're going to be reversing the velocity of the X if we hit a wall on the left or right side. Or on the Y if we hit on the bottom or top. So we're going to start with the X. So if, and I've just scrolled down to make this bit easier. If math dot absolute of projectile dot velocity dot x is uh, sorry mine x minus old velocity dot x is greater than float dot epsilon. Then we do projectile dot velocity dot x equals minus old velocity dot x. We do the same thing for the Y. And now we'll have that bounce off the top and bottom. So that's literally all we need for this uh, projectile. So now let's create our weapon that's going to use this. So in our items weapons, I'm going to add a new class called tutorial gun. Add mod item. And we're going to need uh, using microsoft.xna.framework using terraria.gamecontent.creative and using terraria.id We want to make it shoot the bullet projectile that's just the default it's shoot speed will be 5f then we want to set item use ammo to ammo id dot bullet this will allow us to use any of the bullets that are in this group which includes our uh, tutorial ammo 
one last thing we're going to do is override the holdout offset and we're going to return new vector 2 to do minus 4f 2f so this just adjusts the position in which the player is going to hold the item so you can do this with other weapons as well if you want the player to specifically hold the weapon like sometimes the item is just away from their hand it looks a bit odd maybe you want to adjust this and move it towards their hand and that's everything for the uh, gun so now we're going to move over to Terraria itself so let's head on over there now that we're in Terraria we want to go to our workshop develop mods and we're going to build and reload our tutorial mod let's go to single player join our world Gonna go mod tutorial mod. I have tutorial gun and our tutorial ammo. So if I now shoot, you'll see that that flies. Let me zoom in a bit. See it bounces. Bounces one, two, three, four, five. It bounces four times, and on the fifth hit, it dies. You can shoot multiple. And you can also use uh, the default bullet. Let's do let's do a cursed bullet. You can see we shoot that. So yeah, that's our uh, bullet drawn, created along with a ranged weapon. Uh, you can create a custom AI for ammo if you so wish, but that's up to you. So that's going to cover everything for this episode. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you have found this helpful. In the next episode, I'll be covering uh, summon weapons and minions. So until then, thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you're not subscribed to the channel already. Till the next one, goodbye.